In principle, the idea is you want to encourage good behavior and you want to discourage bad behavior. Look, if we were to say, just to say for example, and I think every viewer of this TV show will love this idea, if we were to say that every single person who's watching this show tonight has to pay $50 for the privilege of watching this show, or to, to translate that into Brazilian money, I suspect the number of people watching this would probably be our, uh, our husbands and wives and maybe some of our children, and that would be about the whole audience. <laughs> and if on the other hand you were to say to everybody, we will give you $50 if you will watch the show, I have a suspicion tonight, and I think it's a great idea we should do that, but I think if we were to do that, we'd probably have the highest rated show in the history of Brazilian television. Okay, well, market forces work. And therefore, if you give people bonuses for changing behavior, God knows, it happens in the workplace. You give a person a bonus for doing X, they do X. And, you, and likewise in the consumer, if you give them a bonus for doing something smart, they will, do, they will do more of that. Now let me tell you what the challenges of that. The challenges of a bonus is, it's the same thing about a sale price. Once you begin to think that you need to wait for a sale, you're gonna start waiting for a sale. And what you wanna do is, the uh, question we had before here, is you wanna encourage good behavior all the time, not just some of the time.